Uh, my name is James Giesen, aka TGLTN, and I'm a player for the Sonics. My role in the team, I guess, can be referred to as the anchor. I usually sit back and overwatch situations with my DMR. So my teammate will like, or my whole team collectively, will crash a compound that enemies are in, and I will make sure that no one can peek them while they're driving towards the destination. Little things like that. Usually I'm a backline player because I'm very good with the DMR. Uh, I like to try and be an emotional leader on the team in trying to keep things positive and keep the environment, like, I, I guess positive is a good word for it, just holistically because the team atmosphere and environment and how everyone's feeling is super important to how people play. So just backing people up, making sure they're feeling confident, I try to be that for my team. It's, it's like Tiggleton is me, but it isn't. You know, I have an on-stream personality where I'm there to entertain. I'm definitely more relaxed in person, I think. I'm a lot more mellow. But at the same time, I think that being Tiggleton lets me be my most impulsive self. I get to react off my raw emotions, and I just feel like I can be me, and that's accepted. And I love that about it. So it's, it's kind of like the truest version of me, but it's also not the me that you would see every day. success and a numerical value, I'd say the most you can achieve is 100, right? How far have you come compared to 20, 25? We did win a lot of majors, but I mean, like when you look at the top of gaming, it's, it's a long way to go. There's still a massive ladder to climb. There's whole new like communities, areas, people to meet, like there's just, so much out there that I have to, I feel like I want to see, I want to do, I want to accomplish, and I want to enjoy. Uh, I'm very specific with my gear. I have a collection of like 100 mice at my house, just stacked in boxes. I've tried almost everything under the sun. After having trialed, you know, hundreds of different mice, I find that like my aim, my precision, how fast I do things, how comfortable I am, and then in turn that leads to my confidence, how confident I am making plays, it's pretty much everything to me. Uh, my favourite right now is I have this custom made Zowie FK1C, so it's like their newest mouse, it's super lightweight, and I prefer a glossy paint coat, so it's completely glossy white, and it's got a Sonics logo on the back of it and my name engraved in. It's pretty cool. I think a lot of people are like sneakerheads. A lot of people like their fashion. I like my mice. That mouse to me is just like, I love it. Uh, I mean, work ethic is definitely a part of the pro mindset. So there's obviously a, a huge time dedication that you have to commit to playing the game a lot because as with anything, you know, skill comes with time. So I definitely think that that's like one of the hardest things for me is just balancing my life in general, having social life, staying fit, getting enough sleep, trying to fit all those things in is a little hard sometimes. But I mean, for the most part, it's, it's very manageable. You know, I think playing too much is also a detriment. I try to actually not play too much because I think you'll burn yourself out. I feel like amateur and pro should be more of a mindset than what you're actually doing, what level you're playing at. It's more about how much are you playing, practicing, studying, how much time and effort are you dedicating to improving at the game to then be better at the game. And like, I'm a big believer in anyone can do anything. Gaming especially, I think that there's not very many physical like limitations, if that makes sense. If you want to be the best, I think it's possible. It's within anyone's reach. It's definitely been rough. I miss my family a lot. I hope to go back after this tournament. So I guess regardless of the result, I'll be happy when it's over just to see my family.